All right, so here's the equipment you're gonna need for Lab 8 greenhouse effect. Uh, first thing you see here are these uh, containers, so make sure you grab two of them. They should already have some dirt in there. I used uh, one scoop of, of dirt, and so make sure that it's just evenly spaced out on the bottom there, so two of those containers of dirt. Uh, you'll need some about a one foot piece of plastic wrap and a rubber band. You'll probably use a half meter stick and pick up one of the thermal cameras with the lightning extender. Uh, you'll use your iPad and the Fleur One app. And then for the light bulb setup, it's gonna be very similar to Lab 7 where you'll need to clamp a uh, 150 watt clear light bulb, uh, just aim it down at the, uh, at the container. So that's the equipment you'll use. All right, well, the purpose of this lab is to uh, test the effect of a planet with an atmosphere versus a planet without an atmosphere. And so in our case, the planet, so to speak, the model for the planet is this container here. So again, space out the dirt evenly on there and then take one of the containers and go ahead and attach the atmosphere, which is gonna be the saran wrap. All right, very good. And then the other one is just gonna be open like that. So there you go. All right, so before we run the experiment, what we wanna do is we wanna get the initial temperature, which should be the same for both of them, but we're gonna use our thermal camera for that. So go ahead and attach the thermal camera to your iPad and open the Floor One app. Okay, here's the Lab 8 setup. I have the light bulb directly in line with the center between the two conditions. One is conditioned with dirt and a cover, the other one just has some dirt in it. And then here I have one of the red stands and I attached the uh, Fleur One camera to it. And I did use a little rubber band to hold that down. And then I've got my iPad connected to that Fleur One camera with the lightning extender. And I'm gonna show this a little closer. All right, so there's the Fleur One camera, and you can see that underneath the camera and the thermal image uh, video part is uh, exposed in the, the cutout there. All right, and so what I'm gonna do is right before I turn the light bulb on to start the experiment, I'm actually gonna swing the light bulb off to the side. All right, and I'm going to Bring the thermal sensor to hover over, and I'm gonna be taking a look at my iPad to indicate when I've got it right. So I'm gonna to try to center, that looks pretty good. I'll just center the, the thermometer or the temperature cursor between them there. All right, and then before I take my image, I'm gonna make sure that I toggle on the calibrate screen. All right, then if I'm all set to go, I'm gonna take the initial photo. And I can get the starting and uh, temperatures for each of the conditions, again, by clicking on the, um, the picture that I just took and going to it, clicking edit, selecting edit. And then these should be the same because uh, I haven't started really yet. So it looks like it's about 25.4, 25.2. All right. And then... Since you have your starting temperature, you can go ahead and bring the light bulb back to hover centered over the two conditions. Make sure that it's exactly centered. You'll go ahead and turn the light bulb on for 10 minutes. It should stay on. After 10 minutes, push it off to the side again and record another thermal image. Okay, so that's after the first 10 minutes. And then allow it to be in the lights off condition for an entire 10 minute period. After the lights out period of 10 minutes, you're gonna bring the light bulb back in again. For the third of three 10 minute periods and the light bulb is gonna be back on again. So make sure it's centered. 
and it's going to be on. So there. After that 10 minute period is over, again, take your last thermal image. So bring that back over, line them up, and take your last thermal image. To summarize, there are three 10 minute periods, lights on, lights off, and lights on again. And you take four pictures, one at the beginning before the light goes on, one after the first 10 minute period of lights on, one after the second 10 minute period where the lights are off, and one after the third 10 minute period where their lights are on again. Okay, since you're going to be manually entering those data points, go to Create Experiment and Manual Entry.